there. Hi, this is Carla coming to you live. And today I have a question for you, which is, do you need to forgive someone for something that they've done to you at some point in your life? If so, uh, stay tuned. I've got three strategies that are going to help you to do that. Um, you know, first of all, do you carry a grievance towards somebody, you know, whether they did something to you yesterday, um, five years ago, 10 years ago, you know, when you were a kid and you've been holding on to that, you, that could be maybe a spouse has betrayed your trust or a partner, uh, maybe your neighbor's political bumper sticker just makes your blood boil, um, those of you that still have to go in and punch a clock, how about your work spouse? What if your work spouse just ups and quits on you and you feel left and stranded? Um, somebody posts something on Facebook and you don't like it, you know, and, and you just hold on to that anger. When we can't forgive somebody for something, you know, we hold on to that anger and you tend to get on a hamster wheel, as I like to call it, and just keep playing it and replaying that, that situation over and over in your head. Um, when you do that, that's just so, it's not affecting the other person, it's just affecting you. Um, when you do that, you can um, increase your risk of depression, anxiety, um, increase your risk for heart disease as well as decrease your immune system because you're replaying those negative thoughts over and over in your head. So what can you do? Um, the three strategies I wanted to talk to you about is number one, stop waiting for an apology. Uh, when you do that, you're giving the other person control over your life and you want to step up and take control for your own life. So don't be waiting for uh, an apology for that person because you may never get it. The second thing is to check in with your feelings. Um, you know, I do this a lot, just deep breathing. Anytime something uh, can throw me out of whack or you get flustered about something, just stop and take a few deep breaths, belly breaths. So put your hand on your belly and you wanna make sure your belly is going in and out. Um, that can help reground you. Thirdly, you wanna change the narrative. Um, instead of being a victim, try to put yourself in that person's shoes. Um, you know, you don't wanna hold on to that grudge as much as you might think you want to, you really don't. You want to free yourself from the, from that anger, from that resentment, um, you know, just from all of those negative feelings. Because, like I said, it's it's hurting you. It's not hurting the other person. So I hope you found those helpful. Um, I do have a couple of other strategies that I'd love to share with you. So if this is something that um, that you, or if you have somebody that you know of that's holding on to something and they need to let that go, feel free to share this with them. Um, reach out to me, send me a private message. You don't need to comment below and let everybody else know what you've got going on, but I'd be happy to share these other strategies with you to help you uh, learn to release that. Stay tuned tomorrow because I'm going to talk another, tomorrow I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to forgive yourself. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great day. Take care.